residential solar installations in South Africa have seen a rise in popularity since 2021 as citizens continue to experience crippling power blackouts. The country has experienced more dark hours in 2023 than in the last 10 years. Solar has become an alternative to state-provided electricity, but adoption remains slow due to high costs, as CGTN's Najma Abdirizak reports. Gauteng is South Africa's economic heartbeat. But residents here spend more time in the dark than anywhere else in the country. It has prompted many to now find their own solutions. When we built this house, we decided we're going to put solar in immediately and put in enough solar that we're pretty much off the grid. We've been on solar for about 10 years now, and um, the, the reality is that this house is very cheap to maintain as a result. Uh, we pay a, a fraction of what some of our neighbours pay for electricity. South Africa's sharply deteriorating energy crisis has not been good for the economy, slowing growth by 2% this year. It has, however, led to an unprecedented boom for residential solar. Solar power has increased significantly in the country in the last few years, making up now 7 gigawatts of installed capacity. That uh, makes up around 10% of the energy mix, which is up from just 2% five years ago. Most impressively, this is driven by a surge in rooftop solar, which is now 4 gigawatts, which is about a 300% increase in the last year alone. Installers such as Vasofi Solar offer consumers monthly payments of over $100 per month for a solar system. The company has been kept busy since it started three years ago. Yeah, we're doing 33 installations today alone. Um, it is one of our busier days, so we kind of do anything between three to 600 installs a month uh, currently. Demand ebbs and flows with load shedding, but um, you know we geared up to do up, up to about a thousand installs a month. But it's still largely a money game, which excludes the poorer majority. It still um, tends towards the higher kind of LSM groups, just purely because of the finance nature of our product. Um, we need to, to run um, a credit vetting process. So the affordability does still sit in the, in the higher LSM group, but as we evolve as a business, as our, um, uh, our product sets expand, the, the affordability level um, broadens the market for us. The rise of renewables has brought some light from the darkness, which has been a drag on for the economy for the last 15 years. South Africa is among 40 countries worldwide with a cumulative photovoltaic capacity of over one gigawatt. The question now is how to make renewables more affordable to accelerate adoption in a country abundant with sunshine. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN.